Okay, guys, it's Mackenzie Deacons having a good day. Um, I wanted to show you how, and this is something that's not wedding related, but because I have put my kid, my little daughter, through dance for like 10 years, I was able to um, work with the dance company and be able to trade services for their dance collage pictures, which are super fun and easy to do. And, um, and, in, and like people do this for a living. And so you could do this for a living, but I wanted to show you how I do the collage part of it. So I'm not talking about the technical, like how I shot this, but I'm going to talk to you about, um, how I am making this collage. So first of all, you want to make sure that you're editing the images and saving them out from Lightroom, um, a little bit differently than maybe you would think. So here's a picture of, you know, they're on seamless, right? I've got my stand, I've got my light over here shooting. Um, so what you want to do here, first of all, this one's like a little crooky. Oh, I think I ended up using this one. Okay, we'll go like this. So I'll say, um, we'll just say reset this crop. So I can, I'm just talking about cropping here, okay? So for the group picture, I just don't, well, I don't want to have to do any Photoshopping if I don't have to. So I'm going to go in here and select four and a half, four by five, change it this way. I almost said boom. I have got to stop saying boom. Boom. Um, just like that. Okay. So that's how you save that out. Now, then you go to the individual pictures. So you've taken one picture of each dancer, right? And their little pose. And um, you go like the, I'm just going to reset the crop so you can see. So that's how it was shot. But instead of saving it out like that, and you're worrying about all of this extra space when you're creating your collages, you're going to create every single picture to have a nice tight crop on it so that you're not needing to do it later. So I go in and I go like this and it's, I mean, look at how close it is. Cause you're, you're not, so this is tight. Okay. So, so this is the four by five or eight by 10 ratio. And then you go like this and go shift click. So on my keyboard, I'm pressing down shift. And then I've got my, my move tool over here by the last part of this little section of individuals, shift click and then sync. And then this right here you want on. If it's not on, then it won't change the crop aspect, right? So it looks like I changed exposure too there. So I need to go in and like, and then I go through and I make sure that each one of them looks pretty good. And so then I come up here where I can change my cropping, move that girl up, press enter. Same thing here. So this one, these ones all look like a little dark. So I'm going to go like this and go sync so that it brightens up all of them. See what it did down here? Perfect. Good. And then these all look great. So then you go in here and you save all them now and then you go through each one. So this is another group photo and these all haven't been edited yet. Like that's, I obviously didn't shoot it like that. See, <laughs> I just want to make sure you all know. Um, and then you go through and you have all of your files saved. Okay. So I've got, I'm showing you on um, some pictures I took last year. <sighs> okay. So, uh, and I've already created all of the collages and everything for it. But I want to start from start to finish on how to now the on how to create this collage. I do most of the work in Photoshop. So this is the final collage, so cute, right? But I'm going to show you from start to finish. So what I go is I go file new. Nope. File new. And then depending on the aspect ratio, this is fun. Just come on. Um, you want it to be like, so if you want it portrait or do you want it landscape, that kind of a thing. Um, right now, yeah, like eight by 10. Love it. Okay. So that's portrait, but if you want it landscape, you can make it that way too. This one is obviously a landscape one. So easy. Make sure it's three. Oh, did you see that? I'll just do another one. Make sure it is 300, um, DPI, which basically means it's for print. Yeah. Right here dots per inch. That's what it means. Um, 72 is for web, 300 is for print. And obviously that's, yeah, eight by 10. Okay. So now what, and that's another one I made. Um, okay. So this is just text and this is their logo. So I put their logo in here and then I put their company name right there. And then I put 2020 and it was their gala. So I just, it, I feel like that's fairly simple to understand, but if you need me to help you, I will do that really quick. Okay. So you just press the type tool and you write 2020. This is a Baba Snua. I don't know. Oh, okay. Actually, first I need to bring my rulers. So I go like this and I bring it about like a little bit less than a half inch. And this is just like, sometimes I just eyeball it. 
but if you're technical, I'm just really good at eyeballing things. So. Okay, and then, so that's your little margins. You want to kind of keep your information in there just so it looks nice and crisp and nice. Um, and then to create another layer, you just go Command J, Command J, okay? And it created your other layer here. So now you've got your layers palette. If you don't see your layers palette, go in here, go Window and Layers. See how it has, so if I do that, then it goes away. But if I go here, Window, Layers, then it comes back to life. Good. So now I have two of these copies. One says 2020, one says 2020 copy. You just you make sure you're using your move tool. You've got your move tool up here while holding, clicking down and you can drag it apart. So click and then drag it away. Now there's that, write the word gala. I changed that to a black color. Cute, love it. And then if you have your move tool, you can move things around. If you don't have your move tool, like if you have your type tool, it will just like create weird things. And you're like, what's going on? I'm just confused right now. Um, instead, you want to use your, your move tool, which I think, is it V? Yeah, V is your quick move tool selection. Okay. Um, I don't want to have to go find this logo. So I'm going to just go like this and try. see, look, I was going to do it again. Oh, so and you just click on this shape. This is to turn it on and off. You just use these little eye, eyeballs and click. I'm clicking and I'm dragging it into here just so you can like, so get their logo, ask the company for their logo. Um, and then I just wrote Barlow Arts Conservatory underneath it, which is, yeah. So does that make sense? It's super easy like that. But then I, if you want to change this to be bigger, you can go command T. That's my go-to command T. We'll be doing that a lot and moving that back over. Gosh, this is so mad. It doesn't want, you have to like click exactly and then click on the gala again. So it's cl clicked over here. It's selected. Command T, drag it big. It, to keep your aspect ratio on this, make sure that this little lock thing is up here. If not, it will like skew it. Um, but this one isn't getting skewed. Okay. Easy, right? So that's how you do that. Now, um, now let's get back to the putting the pictures in here. So I've got all of these images saved here. Oh, I've already done all of those. So now let's start. Okay, so here's a group picture, and we've saved it at that four by five ratio. You just drag it off, bring it down here, and then just make it smaller. Control T. Now obviously there's this file here in front of it. So you go like this and click it off. Easy. And then you come over here back to your finder, get uh, the next answer, select and drag it on top of it, resize it, control T, remember control T, and then enter, and then turn that one off. Now, because they're in blue, I wanna change this color up here, so I press my T for my type tool, double click, click this top box over here, and then it's going to turn it instantly into the sampler, and then I sample it, and it changes it to blue, and press OK, and now it has this cute little cuteness, right? Cuteness. Then you go file, save as. If you press file save, it will save, resave over this file name, the PSD, wherever it's originally saved, which is fine, but not fine because we don't print PSDs, we print JPEGs, right? So you go file, save as, and then we're gonna come change this format into a JPEG. And then if we want to make sure that we have it saved in the right place, I go, so see, you've got, you've, I've got a raw file, I've got my JPEGs, and then I've got a collage file. So now I've gone in and created this collage file and you can rename it, whatever you want. Like I'm going to put BAC and then gala and then number one, JPEG, save. Make sure it's on the number 12. Okay. Nice, right? Then after that, it's really slick. It just, just like that. So you click on your finder, you go to the next one, you plop it in, do, 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 just kind of reformat it here, da, 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 de enter, but you've already done this, so you pull him off, and then go file, save as, JPEG, click on that guy again, take number, change it to two, so that they all start being chronological order, and press save, easy. Now let me show you one more aspect of this. Um, I want like a wider group. Oh, that was a cute little group here. Okay, sorry guys, I 
was hoping to have like, well, I mean, it's fine. That's that group. I kept this. Okay, let's do this one. So this group, um, because it's a more like a, a thinner, not thinner, um, more narrow picture. Um, let me show you what we can do. So I'm, I'm turning this one off behind because I don't want to see it. But now that we're working with these purple girls, I'm going to click that first dancer and bring it over over here and see you can see that I could use like the basically the whole height of this image. And then we see more of the dancer and I think that's great. So we're going to press enter. You press enter to take the transform off. Um, and then now I, I'm like, how do I crop it, right? How do I like trim it down? This is how you trim it down. Um, you need to make sure that it's rasterized. So you go over here to your layers and you have, right, you're selected here. While your little move tool is over that, that little box, you press control click and then you press rasterize layer. That will make it so that you can use your selector tool and kind of crop into it a little bit. So like this, you use your crop tool, drag and go over the part that you don't want and then press command X. That takes that off. Same thing up here. This is great if you have your rulers because it snaps to the rulers. Command X and then same thing here, Command X. So that looks great. Now technically this picture right here, this blue picture is underneath it, but you can't see it so sometimes I just leave it. But you can always also go in like at, if you have a computer that maybe doesn't have as enough, enough RAM or like an older computer or something, it doesn't have a lot of memory. It's starting to get bogged down. Like when you press Command T, it's like taking forever, and you it's like using the little rainbow scrolly thing. Um, that means that your file needs to be cleaned up a little bit so that it doesn't have to remember all of those files and that information on it. My computer is like a beast, so it can like handle like a hundred pictures on here. But um, you would want to select Shift. So like if we were done with like these ones, I would go Shift click. So I've selected the top right there press shift and then click wherever you want. So there, right? And then press uh, the the trash and then delete them. I'm not going to do it yet though because I have, still haven't saved this one out yet. So, um, so that's how you would clear that up. Okay, right? Now we're going to change this to be a cute purple color. So double click that, select that. It automatically pops up our dropper. We select the purple, press OK. And now it's cute and purple. So cute. But I love it because um, I've been able to utilize more of the dancers. So then the parent gets this picture back. They're like, oh, look at how cute the little group, the little cute. It's cute. Love it, right? Um, I, yeah, so basically I think I think that's all I was going to talk about. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. Yeah. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out to me. Um, but this is a great way to make some side hustle money. You don't need to advertise that you're a dance photographer, or if you want to, you can get into dance photography. But um, dance moms have some money. Uh, and you can even wa work with your uh, dance, like local dance teams and say, hey, you can charge $35 for this collage and I will only charge you 25 and then you can pocket the 10. So if they have like a hundred, hundred dancers, then they've made money and you've made money. And then the parent gets a gorgeous picture of, you know, their, their cute dancer and stuff. Um, I know a lot of people will build like a lot of, um, dance schools will actually build it into the tuition. So it's like just in their, like split up in their monthly tuition kind of a thing. Or you can just go to the dance company and say, Hey, we're coming in and then you can take care of all the fees yourself. That's kind of hard, but I like doing it this way because um, that means that every single dancer that comes, you don't have to worry about like holding a name, like a, this is this girl, like this is Olivia. And then she ordered this instead. It's like every single dancer gets a collage with their group picture taken and it just is easy and slick that way. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, like I said, feel free to reach out. I'd love to do a mentoring session with you. Um, I am speaking at multiple different locations this year. Um, Seattle, Los Angeles, uh, Vegas, um, Texas, a couple different places, but head over to my website or to my Instagram and give me a follow there and be sure to subscribe so that I can keep giving you all these great tutorials. And yeah, I, I just love you guys. I think you're the best. And we'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. <laughs>